Micro Shutters of the Wood. In this tutorial we will work together on this such lovely hat uh, that um, I made with a very lovely technique. It's um, a crochet even if it looks like uh, knitted and you will need for this only 50 grams of the main color which in my case is uh, blue navy and yes of course another skein of uh, 50 grams of the contrasting color but you you will need actually less and you have it this is a adult uh, woman size hat but in the tutorial i explain you how easy you can alter it in um, smaller sizes or even bigger sizes so if you want to make for children or for men so it's really easy and it's so lovely i actually just adore it um happy crocheting so to work this hat you will need two colors um, in a nice contrast actually i use these two but of course you can use red and white you can use i don't know black and white black and red so um, black and yellow so nice contrasting colors uh let us begin so i will begin with the blue navy And we will work the circumference of the head in multiple of four. I'm using 4.5. It's uh, both are yarns to be used with uh, four millimeters hook. So because we are working with single crochet, we just want to work uh, larger. So in multiple of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, until you reach the circumference of the head that you want to work uh, the head for. So I went on, I have 64 chains and now I am ready to uh, join. Now with the right side, and this is the right side, you know, so this is where we have this uh, popping up in the middle loop, popping up loop in the middle actually. Uh, this is the wrong side of the chain and where we have the two loops is the uh, right side. And we just go on like this with the fingers so to be sure that it's on with front side facing us. Now, keep it like this, insert hook into the loop, this one, okay, put the other two here, over the hook, like this, and now you just slip stitch to join, okay. Now, for the very first, um, the very first um, round will be a single crochet round. So single crochet all around for 64 in my case okay it must be multiple of um, four and the circumference that you need okay single crochet all around I have set, this is 64 single crochets now what I want to do is to attach the new yarn I slip stitched I also slip stitched here into the first single crochet I insert hook into the single crochet where you slip stitch fold the yarn like this put it on your hook and pull through the single crochet now chain and pull a little bit like this and into the single crochet for a single crochet work one single crochet into the next stitch work over the tail two work a double crochet and we will continue on like this single crochet double crochet all around with the contrasting color yarn like this so i finished my round and i just want to show you how to switch to the other color i don't want to twist the colors i have i will let it on the back side and slip stitch you will you have to finish with a double crochet if you begin with a single crochet insert hook into your single crochet and just slip stitch to join like this and leave it 
on the right side. Now we will take again the contrasting color yarn, we will chain one and insert hook into the single crochet slip stitch and begin working with it. And we will work like this, single crochet into the single crochet and we will work around the double crochet, a front post double crochet. Okay, single crochet into the single crochet and around the double crochet, front post double crochet. Okay, this is what we have, this is how we will just continue on to work. So again, single crochet and double crochet. Around the stitch we just work a front post double crochet. Okay, now continue on like this. I'm back, I finished my uh, round with uh, blue navy. And now I just want to show you again how to switch to the other color. So I have here the other color. I will put on the right side my blue navy. I finished with it. I just want to put it here on right side. Take your contrasting color, chain, insert hook into the single crochet for a single crochet, chain, chain again and single crochet. And now I'm ready to begin my new round. And I will work this one and then another one with blue navy and uh, like this I will finish the border of the hat and I will be back to show you how to work the stitch actually for the rest of the hat. Okay. So I finished the headband, not the headband, the border, sorry, of the hat. Look at it, isn't it just lovely like this? And let us begin of first of all we will work a single crochet row with the navy color blue navy color and we will uh, increase eight times randomly which means we will work single crochets and uh, in eight of this single crochet uh, we will just want to put a increase okay and then uh, from the next round we will just I will just show you how to work the lovely pattern. And now let's see how to work the stitch. So I already cut the yarn, the white, from here, from the back side. I just make a loop, a little knot, and I cut the yarn because I don't need it anymore here. And to work in pattern, we will chain one, work three single crochets with the blue navy, three. And now we want to insert hook into the fourth single crochet and I want to take the, the white and to pull through. Now leave it there, just pull through. Okay, we have one loop on white, one loop on navy. Yarn over with navy, pull through two. And this is what we have. Now we will continue on like this and we will carry on the white with us on the wrong side. So insert hook into the very next stitch and single crochet into it with navy. Then into the next. We will work three with navy and then I will show you one more time. One, two and this is a third. Okay, and now let me show you one more time how you will work. Insert hook again. Take the white, so you already have, this is the, the tail, we don't need it anymore. Take the white, we already have it on the hook because it's here, we carry on. And pull a loop with white. Now we have one loop with white, one with navy. Yarn over with navy and pull through both. Keep the white on the wrong side and continue on working over it. One, two, three and three. Into the fourth insert hook and with white pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both. And we continue on working the white on the wrong side. Two for three single crochets. 
okay look what we have so actually this is what we have this is the the pattern it's really it's pretty easy actually it's not difficult at all so again insert hook into the fourth pull up a loop with white only pull the loop with it yarn over with navy and pull through two and again work the white on the wrong side oops this was not good on the wrong side it must remain for three more single crochets one two and three so each three single crochets we insert hook into the fourth pull up a loop with white and we just want to close with navy and again one two and three and the same insert hook into the fourth we have the white over so we need the the white over the hook pull up a loop with white yarn over with navy pull through both one two three and so on we just continue on uh, until the end we will finish with white. We began with three single crochets in navy, so we will finish with one in white. But I will be back to show you how we finish. Okay, so now I almost finished. I said I will finish with a uh, white snowflake. I can call it snowflake, actually. And I will pull through both. And insert hook into the first single crochet and of course slip stitch. Why? You don't have, you don't want, sorry, slip stitch to join. Obvious. Okay. Now we will leave it like this. Look at this. Isn't it just gorgeous? Now, uh, the next, so in between the snowflake uh, rounds, we will work with the navy blue navy we will work a half double crochet round so we just want to insert hook and i only chained one and work my very first half double crochet and now i will continue on working half double crochets uh, into obvious each of my single crochet all around and then I will be back to show you the third will be this third um, round round not row because we are working in round to repeat okay so just continue on and work your round with half double crochets now uh, one more thing so when you um, haven't explained yet when it comes to work this we just want to insert hook not into the single crochet here but in between the two vertical legs in white oh, it's here that we okay oops it's a half double crochet sorry it's kind of like this and then we continue on working normally one two and three and here in between the two legs okay so we will give a nice shape to our little snowflakes okay then again one two three and here go in between so as you can see here on the back side we have can you see it it's here we kind of split it okay okay continue and I have one more thing to do uh, one more thing to say to you I uh, left it here the the um, white yarn so the snowflake yarn okay I just 
want to leave it here and I will just continue on with the navy and then I will uh, take it again for the third row to repeat, okay? So I finished my half double crochet round and now let's get started with another uh, snowflake round. Uh, in this one, with a little difference, we will chain one and we will single crochet into the first and now I will single crochet into the next with the blue, with the white. So I just want to take it like this and pull through and that's it. And now I will carry on it and I will work exactly as I worked into the first. So three single crochets with navy, blue navy and the third and uh, sorry, the fourth I will pull up a white loop. Work it nice and loose, okay? Not very loose, but one, two, three, and the fourth will be white. And again, one, two, three. And again with white. This is the fourth. One, two, three, and the fourth with white. And I will just continue on like this all around. We will finish, so here we, we, we split, so we have one, two, we will finish with two of navy color okay so to uh, have again our um, sequence of four so three plus one and then we will work again a half double crochet row round all around and then we will repeat from the very first snowflake row round so this one the half double crochet, this one and half double crochet. I will finish this and the one with the half double crochet and I will show you again how to begin from the beginning of the sequence. So I just want to show you that I'm at the end and I will finish with two more single crochets. Okay. And so took into the first that you worked and slip stitch to join. And now we are ready to begin as I said before our uh, half double crochet round. And now we have again one, two, three, four. Okay, so we have our multiple actually of four. So I finished my half double crochet and now I have one sequence ready. Uh, to begin another sequence, we actually begin with the first snowflake uh, round. So we will single crochet three and the fourth will be with white. And then we will continue on like this four rows. Uh, four rounds repeating sequence. So it's one, two, three, and we will just want to insert look into the fourth, take your contrasting color yarn and pull through. Now we will begin to carry on our contrasting color. One, two, three, and the fourth with white. So I will continue on like this, repeating the sequence for, I don't know, three or four times. And then I will be back to show you how to uh, begin to decrease and to give the shape of the crown of the hat. So I finished the length of my hat and I have 16 centimeters, so 14 without the border. And for me it's enough. Now you have to make it a little bit longer than usual because you will see uh, we will just end with two uh, increase, uh, sorry, decreases round and then we will just uh, close it with the needle and some um, needle stitches. So uh, I repeated the sequence for five times and the last, uh, the last half double crochet round 
will be of the last sequence will be done will be worked with the decreases now i already cut the white yarn because uh, these two uh, rounds will be worked only with the navy yarn and we will begin by uh, decreasing uh, in each it's really easy after so we work the um, we work yes we work the snowflake stitch okay over it and then the next two so the next two uh, after each snowflake stitch will be a increase so now let me just show you this is one this is the snowflake stitch okay we can also it was just we can also work the tail okay one the snowflake stitch and these two will be a decrease so one don't yarn over insert hook into the second and pull up a loop we have four loops on the hook and we pull through all and we just continue on like this in this very first uh, decreasing round we work one and the snowflake and then again so insert hook yarn over insert hook into the first pull up a loop don't yarn over insert hook into the next pull up a loop and pull through all okay now go on like this all around so i finished my very first uh, round of decreases and now from uh, four stitches on one um sequence so i have one two three and the fourth you know was the snowflake stitch now i have only three and on this each three stitches we will work one half double crochet and two together in a decrease so it will be one stitch plus one decrease one stitch and one decrease we'll just continue on like this one stitch and one decrease okay now this is what I have I have my two rounds now we can uh, go on and work some more rounds of decreases or only close it with the if you want you can go on and work one decrease in uh, each two stitches I will just cut the yarn and um, cut longer yarn actually and I will take my needle and go on into each stitches and just close it like this so actually I am insert the needle into each of my stitch one direction and the other from the one and okay and it's I just go on like this and then we will just pull tight and of course we will do some stitches to fix in place okay and uh, that's that's all so i have my beanie always uh, also uh, almost sorry almost ready it is not ready yet because i need i just want to put something else a crepe stitch border all around the border and I will insert hook here at the beginning and I will just join the yarn and insert hook to the right and work your uh, crab stitch so insert hook pull up a loop two loops on the hook and pull through all two insert hook pull up a loop pull through insert hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through insert hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through and just this is the way I will go on
all around just to have a nice boot I almost finished just want to show you how to always finish with your crab stitch in round now here I began this is my first stitch I want to work over it so one okay work it over can you see it it is over and now when you cut the yarn go through the like this and pull on this side and of course with the uh, needle you will just wave in the end and that's it this is my hat I need something else. last but not least we will put our pompon that we have it here obvious in the middle okay and nice and tight just put it nice and tight Okay, I will make a nice knot here with this too, and that's it. We just have it. My bene is ready. Can cut this and maybe some other okay so here it is my pompon it is on and that's it this is my bene i am so very happy with it i love it i really really love it hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe uh, so you won't miss another video of mine on crochet tunisian crochet and knitting and if you want to share with me photos of your projects that you made following one of my tutorials i am so very happy to see them you can um, send me a private message on my facebook page you can join my uh, group on facebook crochet with juana or easily you can just tag me on instagram i am always happy to see your projects always happy to leave you a nice comment as you leave me so many beautiful comments Thank you all and see you at the next tutorial. Bye bye. Just one more thing. So <laughs> if you want to have it nice and uh, fixed in place here as I have it here, nice and snug, you just go through the pompon, okay? So like this, you go through it once or twice. It is not very easy, but it is very important. So you have it. Now I must be in the middle and yes i am okay so like this now go back and when you go back okay you just go through your pompon like this okay and go once twice as many times as you need to have a nice neck surely and nice pompon so this is the the secret okay to have it nice and well attached okay that's all